Hey everyone, Brendan from Glorious, where we focus on goals, gains, and giveaways. Today we're talking about Auction, a brand new project I recently discovered that says they're the world's first C DeFi options trading platform. So we're going to talk about everything with that project today. We're going to do an overview. We're going to show you how to do the options trading. Uh, I'm going to go over the roadmap, the team, the white paper, a bunch of things I want to cover today. But before we jump into it, a couple things. Please do your own research and figure out if this project is for you because this is not financial advice. Also, we opened up a Telegram. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to join and chat and be part of the conversation for this channel. So let's just jump right into it. So here we are, auction.io, the world's first CDFI option trading platform built on the Binance Smart Chain. No middleman, no centralized organization, lower fees, more option types, and zero data or market manipulation. So about us, uh, as the world's first CDFI option chain platform built on the Binance Smart Chain, represents a transformer technology that stands firmly in support of financial freedom, backed by liberty that Bitcoin provides globally through voluntary participation, permissionless, and decentralized networks. So right off the bat, they're saying, this is our team of advisors, this is where they're from, this is the companies they worked at, this is the type of experience we have, so you could really believe in the project and everything that they're doing. So the auditors, so they've done an audit with uh, Biosyn and then Nonsec, so if you want to check that out, uh, which is good. And then this is some of the partners that they've worked with on the platform for their marketing technology, business development, uh, and community operations, so check that out here. Uh, and so here are the use cases, right? So um, how does this work? Why is wh why is, would you be using this platform? So if you're a holder, uh, buy Binance Coin BNB, call or put options, uh, choice between American or European options. Uh, through CDFI, no matching of buyers and sellers are required as liquidity pools provide liquidity to take on purchase option contracts. So there's options on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other asset types will be added in the future. Uh, so for sellers or riders, uh, auction liquidity pool will uncheck all options purchase, aka be the house. Liquidity pool contribution contributors will therefore represent the riders and earn from all premiums paid for each options contract. So if you want to be a holder or writer, buyer, or seller, or if you just want to be simply just be uh, a token holder, so earn a percentage of premium premiums paid on each options contract. So that's huge. Priority withdrawal for liquidity pool contributors. Receive discounts and premiums paid for options contracts, so uh, that's good. Uh, access to insurance vault to help mitigate positional risk. Empowered with voting rights to, for potential pay changes and existing parameters on the auction ecosystem. I think that's always important to feel like you have a voice in all this. Uh, so why auction? Lower gas fees, zero time delay, instant liquidity, lower transaction fee, decentralization. Uh, and then why trade options? So if you guys are not familiar with options, obviously options comes, the idea comes from stock. Um, here's why. Uh, and I think it's good that they are trying to, they have things like this where not everyone knows what uh, options are. And you know, you just really educate people into, you know, the real benefit of that. And especially with a lot of people coming to the cryptocurrency space, it's good that you just lay that out. So for long-term investors, investors are currently holding crypto assets long-term can preserve wealth and hedge their risk against any long-term downside risk through option contracts. For example, by buying put options, an option to sell, investors are able to profit from any short-term price drops to mitigate loss in the long-term positions. For short-term traders, traders looking to day trade can, can take quick positions in crypto assets through call or put options. Depending on the anticipated market movement in the short term, in addition to hedging against positional risk, traders can potentially achieve high upsides through favorable price positions while limiting losses to only the small premiums paid for option contracts. For beginners, for those new to crypto, like I said, the volatility in crypto market can be daunting for some. Call and put options provides an avenue for low risk, high return trading. In the current bull market, sharp price movements allow for high return potential, while potential losses can be limited to the premiums paid by options contracts. Again, we all know. Crypto is super volatile, even more volatile than stock. Things can go up and down at any given second. When you look at a chart one day, one second, it's going to be different the next. Um, so any way that you can help mitigate that's good. Victim of centralization, centralized exchanges are always exposed to various risks, such as trade interruptions by brokerage and price manipulation. Obviously, we've heard about, if you're talking about stock, how um, you may be uh, people aren't able to trade or not able to buy or sell or, or whatever um, happens. There's been some like pretty bad stories. 
So here we are literally on the home page <laughs> your American options so you can put active or history I don't have a history on this right now uh, so you could see you could either put or call and so if you're not familiar with this please do your own research uh, on this uh, here's a image I found online that shows if you're not familiar with it so put a put is an options contract that gives the buyer the right to sell the underlying asset at the strike price at any time to the expiration date example this is obviously an example of stock a stock put option with the strike price of 10 means to put option buyer can use the stock option to sell the stock at $10 before the option expires. A call is an options contract that gives the buyer the right to buy the underlying asset at the strike price. So sell, buy. Uh, example, a stock option with the strike price of 10 means option buyer can use the option to buy the stock at $10 before the, op before the option expires. So again, if you think about that, you could, so here they let you put your option size. I'm again, uh, I'm not going to do this right now, but if you want to put your option size, I don't know. I, and I'm not not financial advice. I don't want to give financial advice. But if you want to, uh, you know, put your option size 10 and then whatever strike price you want, um, you know, you just have to put the number in here. Obviously, I'm not going to give you advice. But uh, if that is, for example, at 500, then it kind of it calculates down here um, what it's going to be. And it tells you what the current is, what the strike price will be. And again, do your research, period of holding. If you want to change this, you could do one day one week, seven days, um, and then just put your option contract in. Um, and that's it. Again, I s highly suggest that you do research. They have some good resources on this website, but uh, do your own research and figure out if this is something, if, especially if you're new to it, um, you know, something that you want to do. Cool. And then they have some like frequently asked questions just about, uh, you know, the supply, which is 10 mil, 100 million. Uh, they tell you uh, exactly like, um, What's the initial market capitalization of auction token, liquidity pool, token vesting, functions of auction tokens. So other things that you can use this website for is liquidity. So pool sharing. So you could uh, do BNB or Cake. If you're not familiar with Cake, Cake is the pancake swap token. So you could let's say BNB and you want to uh, deposit uh, the amount and then it'll show how much you'll receive. Uh, and so it's cool. And they also have like this like balance sheet chart to show like your profit and losses over time, which is cool. They even have the number here if you guys want to. Uh, you can even check out like the, the staking pool if you guys are familiar with staking. Um, so this pool st status is closed. So I think um, they'll lock it uh, in the future. So what is Opti stacking? Staking is a common mechanism found in crypto space, especially in DeFi. It's basically the action whereby you deposit a fixed number of tokens or coins known as pool and return your constant reward by extra tokens. So some people like that's the kind of like the benefit of it. And they tell you the APY right here um, is that you, you lock it in. But the downside is, is that you just have to uh, you locked in for a specific amount of time. So this one, this baby octopus staking is it's locked in for seven days and the APY is 70 percent. But this one where you lo you lock in for 21 days, but your APY is 20 percent. So um, Again, if you really believe in this project in the long term, like 21 days isn't so bad. So why not do it? Uh, you only get the benefit um, of it because if you're playing the hold anyways, that's uh, that's good. Cool. So again, a bunch of other things. This is the link tree. If you want to buy a pancake swap, you can uh, make sure to grab the contract from the website. Uh, they also have a medium where they go through like some of these things in detail, which I, you know, if you guys want to read through, I think would be really good, especially if you're not familiar with um, how options work. And uh, again, I know I did a brief overview on it and I try to show you uh, a nice chart, but again, it's always good to just read and learn about this and kind of like what's the overall strategies from people. Cause I always say, obviously do your own research, make sure that you are, uh, making decision that you want, this is something you want to buy and put money into before, uh, you know, making a commitment. This is the Discord. If you want to join Discord, Telegram, they have over 6,000 members. Uh, their GitHub is here. Their Twitter is here. They have a bunch of good followings and they do a bunch of things. I mean, like, uh, obviously, having all these things about being the first CD5 option sharing platform is, uh, is awesome. So, uh, last thing I want to cover today in, is the white paper. So, here on the white paper, uh, they talk literally about everything again. Um, which I think is good. They even have like a call option and put option things. They obviously talk, they give an overview on the rise of DeFi. So definitely uh, a lot of content here. Uh, and I think they, 
they kind of talk about the whole ecosystem, which I think is really important and where the, the token comes in. And yeah, kind of definitely goes into depth on things. Let's see. Um, talk the variables of auction, liquidity pools, which you mentioned. Uh, buying a call option and option buy. So they, they give literally like details on how to do that. Obviously, option size, expiration duration, uh, and then obviously a, a put option. And so they kind of give uh, also examples of uh, how this would play out, uh, different pricing models. Again, very, very well thought out. Pricing formulas, so that if you, they're really trying to be transparent, which is good. This is the type of stuff that you want to see. They even have their team of advisors here. They didn't show them on the website. They kind of gave their background, but if you want to learn more about them here, and it's great that they're doxxed. You know, it's in, you know the companies that they're uh, working for, worked for. Uh, so you have a lot of trust in them and know that they're behind this solid project. Wow, they have a huge team. Oh, these are their advisors. But yeah, still a bunch of advisors that are just helping them overall with everything that they do, which is great. This started in April, there was some steady growth, and then obviously, uh, you know, uh, it was definitely decreasing in May. Obviously, crypto has been volatile, and then, yeah, kind of like evened out, and there had some steady growth, uh, and then it kind of dipped a little, but again, I think there's a lot of exciting things. I think when people see the benefits of options trading, they'll definitely be excited about this project and just want to be involved as much as possible. But that's it. Uh, that's Auction. Definitely check it out for yourself. I'll put the link in the description. Check out their Twitter. They have a lot of great updates. And yeah, I think that there's a lot of exciting things coming. So check them out. They're announcing partnerships. They are, um, you know, just working with uh, a bunch of people and a lot of content is coming out. They have a lot of good events like AMAs and things like that. So check them out. I'll put a link in the description. But thanks again for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Talk to you guys next time.